Hello and welcome back. Dark Hello. And Ran. Hey. Saving the galaxy that doesn't want to be saved. Again. It, it, I swear, I'm not getting depressed over this. It's just. At least say thank you every now and then. Yeah, I think the word of this is getting to him. It's. Uh, yes. I enjoy a good fight. But when they start complaining about rescues they don't want. Well, here, let me just throw you back at them. Say use a galaxy in front of Reapers. It's like we, not like we needed your help. Okay, fine. Here you go. Have at him. Ooh, music. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It all seems so harmless. This is that same hmm. music from that scene. Oh. Pain, Petco. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As Normandy arrives, Edie makes an announcement over to CIC's comm channel. Shepard, I do not detect any human life signs at the server's facility. However, the AI are broadcasting a message and are trying to contact us. They appear fully sentient and want to negotiate. They do not appear actively hostile, though it is not clear what happened to their human technicians. The EMP will result in their being wiped out completely, although their hardware remain intact and can be used to install new software code. The N7 squadrons are being deployed in the Normandy's wake, and without disabling the defenses, they will be vulnerable. What would you like me to do, Commander? Um... Edie? Trust Edie? I trust Edie. Allied Victory, Project Overlord Base. Allied Forces, Cerberus AI. <laughs> Doesn't look like we what? took in seven casualties either. Mm -hmm. That's nice. All seems so harmless. Yeah, we can get the report on that later, I suppose. Well, I wanted to go ahead and get into a relay system. <coughs> Anything new? No. The synthetic servers created rebelled against their masters when their programming quickly adapted to circumvent the software constraints. They have been given special permission by the council to operate outside of usual laws, limiting quantum blue box AIs in return for their contribution to the fight against the Reapers. Cerberus armed them with the latest in combat technology, advanced cloaking and self-repair systems, making them deadly close quarters infiltration units. While a large group of them have joined to fight, joined to fight the remainder have chosen to remain on eight to provide support. So basically, a bunch of EDs. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'll take that. I'll t take that as a win. Yeah. The colony on Eight is relatively underdeveloped for a garden planet due to the uncertainty about when its moon is likely to collide with the planet. <coughs> no, I mean that's that's the thing about the planet. It's got like a few centuries, and its moon's gonna collide with it. Yeah. However, this has meant its plentiful resources have yet to be exploited. Its newest inhabitants need no rest and are focused on supplying everything that they can to the fleets, including Ezo, food, and energy. They recognize the precarious nature of their existence and are eager to prove their worth. Fair enough. <coughs> Meanwhile, Javik, in his quarters, frustrated about the entire idea. <laughs> Stop proving me wrong, damn it! <laughs> Yeah, like that, uh, that I think about it, pretty much this entire game we have done nothing but prove him wrong. That's kind of the point. He's jaded and he's seen the worst of, like, everything. Remember, yeah, he, like, he does mention the first thing he ever saw was his own homeworld burning. Yeah, and, you know, his empire to begin with didn't really believe in f 
different races working together to be from the get go. So that yeah. probably doesn't help. Yeah. And to top it off, he came in, he was born in the middle of the Reaper War, several centuries after it began. This is yeah. like not even half a year after it begins. You like, see like, that it was already gone, so. Yeah, like, like we're fucking speedrunning the Reaper War right now. <laughs> yeah, in comparison. But, you know, that's because we actually have a fighting chance that. Yeah, we do. The yeah, Protians were basically forced in a, into a Battle of Attrition, and a Battle of Attrition is something that the, the Reapers, Reapers have specialized in. Yeah. We uh, were basically <coughs> somewhat prepared before they even arrived. I mean, thank, on somewhat. thanks to their intervention, uh, the, uh, the Reapers didn't arrive on schedule, so they sent Sovereign. Yeah. We ruined Sovereign's day and slowed them down for another couple years. Kicked the collectors, kicked the collectors uh, back into their hole, which slowed them down even further. And then we destroyed the Alpha Relay, which slowed them down further. Yep. So, as, as, as Harbingers put it, you have become an annoyance. <laughs> Cosmic Mecha Cthulhu has declared Shepard is, is an annoyance worth noting. <laughs> I mean... <coughs> Yeah. And soon enough, we're probably gonna be more than that. I mean, we already are. Yeah. We've already taken down one Reaper with, you know, a giant worm, but... Details. Yeah, you know. As Garrock put it, the mother of all treasure moths. <laughs> hmm. Shock organics are recharge speed. Hmm. Shocking organics sounds like a useful thing to do. But bullets works just as well. Or you get you get shock ammo? No, just shooting them works. Oh, fair. Yeah, I'll use recharge speed because I can use overload to fuck their shields. Which probably would have helped yeah. against the Geth Primes if I remembered what my powers were. <laughs> Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zap. Have you reached Selkaris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkaris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground planet. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. I should have brought James along for this. Maybe. No, no, never mind. It's the next mission. Mm -hmm. I think. How oh, did you bring a robot to play adventure? Tally and Javik. So we're not doing the Legion and Javik just yet. I'm getting some static. It appears our car is crashed with Oh, we should, I should have brought James for this. That's just funny the way he reacts. Zen? Admiral Zen. Oh well. Let's hope the wilderness is kinder to this admiral than the machines. We'll see in a minute. Take us in to the tower. Yeah, this is another, the towers are another case of um, assign one squad mate to do something. And um, if you assign James to trying to say, well, he sits there and fumbles with the console for a second before he, before just kicking it. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. All right, then let's get to work. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors. 
But does that mean you could basically take your helmet off now? No. Oh. It's. I think it's been mentioned. What tactics do they use? The usual. More gas. Predictable. <coughs> Machines have always mistaken numbers for strength. I think it's mentioned in a previous game. Uh, centuries of like when when they first left Rannoch, because they evolved evolved here. Something about like uh, symbiosis with the environment or something in the environment meant that as soon as they left Rannoch, they basically had to have uh, environment suits. And in centuries of living without with uh, living in the environment suits means that even Rannoch's environment will take adapting. <sighs> yeah, I think I think Tally mentions it. Uh, yeah, it's just you know why. Yeah. When arguing over whether or not uh, it's worth it to just find a different world. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Hello. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. I'm okay while burning. <laughs> the javelin. Fun. I just think it's a cool sniper rifle in concept. It fires a ferromagnetic liquid hmm. at hypersonic speeds or something like that. Well, you know, I like my gate weapons. They are quite interesting, yes. Mm hmm. Catch. Ow. Hopefully you have your electroshock then. Yeah, but you know, one of them on? did have a shit. There it is. Yeah, that seems rather effective. Now you're extra dead. Shit. Oh, I was <laughs> looking at it like that. What is that? Oh. Oh shit! Landmines. Holy shit! They planted landmines. <laughs> planted. Oh my they god! They planted land landmines. You wild card folks out there. <laughs> is now the right time for a housing bridge reference? It's always the right time for a housing bridge reference. Not incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that wrecks them hard. Well, they are synthetics. Yeah. Yeah, that, that probably would have been really useful against the Primes. Ding! I can't tell that actually hit or not. Probably not, we since there's no fire. Yeah. Disappointing. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Obviously, Daddy. No problem. Meanwhile, James, uh, kicks it. Now, if memory serves me, I guess not. Oh, there it is. Nope. There's supposed to be a Geth Spitfire here, unless my memory's faulty. Hmm. Which is basically a handheld minigun. Yeah, I sort of remember from SCOM 2. <laughs> when you know Mass Effect weapons from playing XCOM. Beat those. <laughs> Javik, get down. Oh, hi. A friend. Yeah. And now you're gonna start using fireballs. Fireball, 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 fireball! Me and Rita has the right idea.
Powers? Uh, you said you don't use powers often enough, but I'd say you've gotten pretty well used to it by now. Ah, uh, shut up. Hunters. That's a compliment. Out of my face. What do we got here? Ooh. Hey, you actually spotted the one. Yay, me. I'll take it. That sounds useful, yes. You're not dead. I don't know if you remember, during Tally's loyalty mission, we came across a log that's basically hit, uh, Jonah's mother. Mm. So, poor boy's lost both parents now. Oof. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty violent. Big gun. <clears throat> Can't get a Don't good line on. Power. And you shook it? No, that shield's too thick. I can sort of hit him. You should throw the heal. See if I can get around him. Uh oh. <coughs> That's not looking like it. Huh. Oh, maybe. I love this okay. guy. Yeah. Let's look at the gun console. We should be able to disable it. What do we got here? It's just an anti-tank assault rifle. <laughs> Who should destroy the gun? Fire huh? I want you on this, Tally. Yeah, better enough. That's a crime. So it is. 
It was a prime. Yeah. And you actually should put that. No. Also, that was Yavik. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not helping. He's trying. Let's get the last one. So I see. Oh, yeah, Pyro. Was a Pyro. Indeed. Hmm. There we go. Where are the enemy? I thought they were the enemy. I think they also found you. What could you end? The fact that they were shooting you. And they're shooting you. Uh, roll, you idiot! Well, shit. What? At least you didn't get pushed too far back. Shut up. Okay, note to self, there's a pyro here, be careful. Mm-hmm. Don't shout out. Fighting a flamethrower with a close range is not the best of ideas. Hmm, I never guess. Mm -hmm. Hilariously, the pyro is weak to fi the fire. Because he has armor. Mm -hmm. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Quit asking stupid questions. Gun, Tally. Yeah, like come you. on. Kinda of funny how she always seems to need exactly enough to get exactly as much time as it, as it takes you to defeat a wave of enemies. Gee. <laughs> Beatles, right? You know, this is a very tough shot though. I know, right? And a very inaccurate gun. 
like it took like four missiles. It knows how to the defense mission is for the shuttle, not for Zalcoris. Yeah. You mind? Welcome aboard. How did he miss? My crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello? This is Zell Forest. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Yeah, it's not an easy choice, as usual. Never is. But saving him, I think, means saving more people that are still out here, so... You were right that I returned. Have you talked the civilian captains of the state? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Good. <laughs> Like there's a choice here. Yeah, like do you even need to ask me? <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have this over by, by the end of the day. Quit your bitching. Yeah. The data you forwarded about the Geth was disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of second thoughts. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Tell me about the civilian ships. <laughs> our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Once again, commanded by Admiral Corris, thanks to you. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Barrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be, I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. 
It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Fair enough. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Hello, Tali. Yeah. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Okay. Talk to you later, Tally. So, okay. What are you typing on, Tally? Um. Don't worry about it. I think for a moment there, she had both her hands up like she was typing. Maybe her helmet has a visual interface or something. Of course, there's always a distraction. Of course. From Naptil Vasgeralt. Geralt. Gergalt. Bleh. The civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell under Homeworld, as our corps stopped many vessels from flying past awaiting guns at a geth. The admiral told me you met my cousin, Don Hart San Ranak. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you've done. Oh. Yeah. It's nice every now and then. And hey, that means that Kida still has an uncle left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hang on a second. Are you going to go get another... Uh, I'm double checking something. Okay. Hmm. I was checking the timing on that on that N seven mission we just got. Okay. But it doesn't say, so we're just gonna go ahead and get it done. Fair enough. It's an N seven mission, so it shouldn't take long. Good. Thing here. Thingy. A cruiser. Oh man. That's probably useful. Possibly. Arr, let me use the planet. Use a planet. Are we playing Galactic Annihilation now? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking troll of a fox. You know me so well. Uh, who are we bringing this time? Infantry. It's an infantry job. Okay.
Charlie is on point waiting for you. Fun. <coughs> okay, then. A treatment plan for chemical burns. <coughs> this is pretty detailed. Hmm, could come in handy. Well, it said Citadel in the name, so... Guess we're going back again! Someone's got to use for it. Is this a vanilla mission or a model? Yes, one? It's, it's a regular one. Okay. Radiation proximity warning, Commander. Avoid at all costs. Not that way, I guess. Money. Mm -hmm. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods. Good. Yeah, this is not how radiation works, kids. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it means something else in sci-fi land, and it's actually a different kind of chemical, but... Nah. The radiation doesn't just get vented, it doesn't really work that way. Shut the fuck up. I think it did. And that's about a few of them. I had one. Shotgun. Yeah, that's all. Well, you know, I didn't dash how large the, how large the room was. I say they cast fireball. You know, next time. Bad time to need a reload. Yep. Oh, 
Așa avem dat pinturile. Dar sunt pinturile ultra rare de luptă. Only has four rounds in the chamber. What do you expect? Fair enough. What's the problem with overload? Is it get is it gets blocked by cover? Uh, that is rather annoying. Like amount of cover. Hmm. Okay. Of course, that's also a meta. Position indefensible. We're not gonna make it. We got your back. One of my people is coming. Roger that. Ash, you're on. You got it. Oh, hello there. So, of course, he shows up right after a uh, party member leaves. Of course. Well, now that you've moved away from uh, the barrier and I can deal with you. You're not so tough. Oh, wow, them falling over can hurt you. <laughs> That's actually and with funny. a big tear, it kinda makes sense. It's still fucking funny. Yeah. Shield that! Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. What did that speak I guess you just went back to the Normandy on her own. Something like that. I don't know. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. And surprise, surprise, that's a multiplayer map. Of course it is. So you know when to re if the Reapers send another strike, or Cerberus pokes her nose in, or to Geth, or to Collectors. You know, wh wh whatever you happen to draw that moment. And you're part of that task force, I guess. Uh, that, no, the, the multiplayer character is. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, the N7s. Yeah. Right. You do uh, kind of wonder how it works when you also have multiple races worth of playable classes. Uh, you just swap between them, and when they hit max level, you can promote them to the uh, Galaxy at War, and their score, uh, they get added to the uh, N7 Special Ops War hmm. Assets. Okay, uh, it's not. I don't think it's here. Uh, no, 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 it isn't. There's a special force, the generic special forces thing that each max level character you promote to the Galaxy at War gets added to it. Okay. 
that and um, you know on the main menu that readiness map that's at 50% oh. there, there, there's a little map on the main menu like the main main menu that basically shows how how uh, the galactic readiness of um oh I can just pull it up right here yeah this it normally would say 50% everywhere but uh I can't remember if it's a mod that's changing it to where it says 100% everywhere, or if it's uh, something they did with the um, rebalancing the game so that uh, you don't have to you don't have to play multiplayer to get the best ending. I don't know. But I know in the main menu it says 50% in all the areas. And and the summary of it says that allied forces are steadily being pushed back. And the more you play multiplayer in different areas, the higher it gets in those areas, and it then it averages out for across the board. Hmm. It's an interesting concept, but uh, nobody wants to be forced to play it. Mm hmm. Well, All right. Need to go. To go. Yep. How are we doing on time? We got time. Fair enough. Listen, sleep is optional. Yeah. Now, who to bring? Um. Hmm. Well, Tally is an obvious choice. Tally is required. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely bringing Tally. Um. How about Carus? They haven't really got that much of a time to catch up. Alright. Best boy and best girl. Yeah. Who, if you don't romance either of them, hook up with each other. Hmm. Go figure, right? Yeah. I like that face texture. It's cute. Yep. The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about the upgrades. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server. But this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? The Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. Yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion, good luck. Acknowledged. <laughs> Acknowledged. Hmm. That's a way to, to respond. Yeah. If only you could just will yourself to have good luck. <laughs> I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The whole world. My world. We've only been here a couple missions already. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. We used to write poems about them. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ramok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies <coughs> carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. 
The living room window will be right here. Something I should know. I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much. But when this is over, I'll have a home. The Corian spent centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. <laughs> it's a start. That's a start. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, storm the castle. Indeed. They know we're here. That they do. Not surprising, really. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, don't get killed. Not my plan. I'm fairly sad for your health. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wish I'd known that a while ago. Yeah. The Geth jamming towers are interfering with your signal, Commander. I'm compensating to keep you patched in. Good work, Trainer. Are you okay? It's a fell off. <laughs> well, don't do that. Quit shifting around in your chair like a cat. Mm, but it's so comfy. I'm trying to climb a ladder here. Yeah, come on. Yeah. That's not the kind of voice I usually make. Get it um, I guess it's just total kills or something. Yeah. Hi there! No, that's a hello there. Yeah, but you know, it's a robot. <laughs> Close enough. Ah, oh, you got a point there. <laughs> Up we go. Why do I suddenly have my pistol out? Good question. Keep moving. Hi there. Nice to meet you guys. You know, I hear walking into my line of fire isn't very good for your health and well-being. Please do us and you. Ah, why are you shooting? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they were surrendering. Oh, hello there. Hello there. I don't think I want surrendering. Bitch. Still one more. Some more? No. Oh. Valley's found it. Oh, not too sure. We need to get inside before they send reinforcements. 
Yes, that's probably a good idea. Amongst yourselves. <laughs> Wonder what happens to they get inside the machine once they when it's overridden. What? Like, are you mind controlling the gate, or are you just making them lose control of their machine? Uh, I don't think too hard about it. Yeah, that's my job. That's why I'm asking. What am I asking? Well, don't ask me. I don't fucking know. Well, listen, I normally just shoot with them if they shoot at me and negotiate if they talk. Fair enough. Yeah, it's nice that they're actually working together now, huh? I mean, this would be a lost cause if they weren't. Yeah. And the way we did the other two missions. Checking to see if that was something I can interact with. Oh. Just trying to remember where to go next. So the Geth had respect for it, the Reapers didn't. Actually, Maybe we should let the Geth know what the Reapers have done with it. Oh, uh, I think they know, it's more if they don't, they can't do anything about it now. For now. Okay, where am I supposed to go from here? There. Um, just hug the walls, you'll find the door or stairs eventually. Probably. Eh. Well, not over here.
Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. How did we miss that? Don't know. Legion, I have the override. We have gained system access. Enter bypassing security. Stand by. Survive. Oh boy. Bring it on. Indeed. What could possibly go wrong? Don't burn surf at anyone who's ever played Halo games. <laughs> Especially Rich. Or the library. Period. God, a library yeah, but, is a pain in the ass. But you could win at the library. I mean, you could, but it's a royal pain in the ass. Yes, well, can you win a current objective survey? Uh, unknown. Insufficient data. Fair enough. I'm sure someone has, has, has tried their damnedest to find a way. We have bypassed security, but disabling the blast shield requires manual input. We have enabled a console near your position. Shepard Commander, you have successfully opened the blast shield doors. Good. We'll be back out in a minute. Ah. Ow. A prime with rocket trooper support is just what we needed. Dude. I am starting to get kind of sleepy. I hope I don't miss much. Shouldn't. Tired Foxo is definitely a sign that we're hitting the limit. Yeah, I think this will be the last one for the night. Well, let's keep a move on then. Oh, hello. Well, you we found the Spitfire. I found a Spitfire. I found multiple primes. And they don't Oops. like me. Sounds like it's time to use the speed by oh you are. You play fireball. This has become a difficult situation. That was literally inconsequential. Hmm. Let's make them regret not thinking where it's Joker, the Geth Blast Shield is open. Ready to take out this base? Roger that. Just give me a target, Commander. Way down. Yep. I felt that. Try, let's try not to die again. We only got cybernetic augmentations last time. Yeah, it wasn't a Reaper base. It was a Reaper. 
Ya. Son sábado recto. And we don't have a thresher mall this time to throw at it. It's not a reaper base, it's a live reaper. I need an orbital strike. So yeah, fighting a reaper at close range. I don't think you moved enough. Apparently not. Not moving fast enough. Yeah, maybe you need to, you know, get cover. There's no cover. At all. Oh. You basically have to stop firing, I forgot that. You have to stop the targeting sequence and then bug away from the beam. As long as you're moving, the thing can't target. I'm also running out of wiggle room here. Yeah. Staring death in the eye, huh? Yeah. Did I start this much? <laughs> <laughs> Danger close. Like you have to have some level of faith. <laughs> Your ally is to pull that one off. <laughs> yeah.
Is it dead yet? <coughs> it's annoying.
Commander. Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped. He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Ranog Admiral with us. No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you going to be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Yay, happy ending. <laughs> sort of. I'll miss Legion, but still. A goodest boy to the end. Yep. Shopping for another house. Beachfront <laughs> property. Claim it fast. <laughs> it's a buyer's market. <laughs> I get it. You okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. Why not? Because I respect you, damn it. You think I don't want you to come with me? So ask me. Tally. I don't know how much time we have left. I don't know if we can beat the Reapers. But whatever happens, I want to be with you. <laughs> I bet you say that to every guy who gets you a homeworld. <laughs> you know I'd understand if you needed to stay. I know, but I look at all this, this picture of hope and peace, and all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Hastro, my father, even Legion, I'm mourning again. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. You this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of moot with the clear faceplate. Fair enough. But still. Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help with my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor uh. Udina's office. Uh. Thanks, Counselor Udina's office. Thank you. Allied victory, Battle of Rannoch. <laughs> no shit. <coughs> yeah. That was a crushing defeat on, on, on the Reaper side. Yeah. yeah Still, I suppose that means next time we're going back to the Citadel. I Again. Mean, yeah, we we're gonna have to. <laughs> Lots of Allied Forces updates. Yeah. Besides, we have... Two, technically three DLCs to get to get started on. Yeah. Leviathan, but for now, Leviathan, Omega, and Citadel itself. Yep. Yeah. But for now, I hope you'll have fun and. Fox needs to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Later's. Bye bye.